Move on to three pairs of electrons now in the valence shell. So I'm going to just make, again make up the molecule AB3. So we've got a central A atom. And I'm going to put, so there's three bonded atoms to that. So here they are. Okay. So let's put the covalent bonds in. Right, so how many pairs of electrons have we got in the valence shell? We've got one, two, three. So we haven't got two anymore, so we can't use the linear shape anymore. We've got a, there's going to be a different shape. So what's the furthest apart these three pairs of electrons can get? That's right, they're going to get 120 degrees apart. So 360 in a complete circle. Divide that by 3, we get the 120. And so we would have a molecule that would have this sort of a shape. I'll draw it up here. So we have the A in the middle. We have a B. Up there, there's the pair of electrons in the bond, in the covalent bond. There's another B. There's a covalent bond. And there's the other B. I'm trying my best to get the angle to look like 120 degrees. So all of those angles are 120 degrees. And that is what the shape would look like. All of these bonds are in the same plane. So they're all in the plane of the, the little whiteboard that I'm using. And what would that look like? I've got a model here. It would look like this now. So you can see everything's in the same plane. So I'll just match it up with the diagram there. And that's called a trigonal planar molecule. Trigonal, triangular, planar, because it's flat. So trigonal planar. Let's write that on. trigonal planar. So this is the example I've chosen to use. It's BF3 or boron trifluoride. So you can see there I've drawn the dot and cross diagram showing the outer shells only. Boron's got three electrons in its outermost shell so they'll be the crosses and fluorine has seven electrons in its outermost shell and it uses one of those in the shared pair. So there's your covalent bonds. Remember we're only interested in the valence shell. So we've got three pairs of electrons in the valence shell. So it will adopt the trigonal planar shape. So let's draw it now. So we've got B in the middle. We've got an F straight up. Try and make it look like 120 degrees if you can. So that would be a trigonal planar molecule. Move on to four pairs of electrons in the valence shell. So we've got this AB4 molecule. I've drawn the simplest dot and cross diagram for that. So we can see in the valence shell we've got these four pairs of electrons, these four covalent bonds, they're going to repel each other because they're all negatively charged and they're going to get it, trying to get as far apart as possible. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated because the molecules from now on aren't going to be flat. They're going to be have 3D shape to them. And we've got to get that across in our diagram so I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the first thing we need to establish is well how far apart, what bond angles can these atoms get? Now you don't need to know the sort of the reasons for this, the maths behind it or anything, but when you have four pairs of electrons, we get a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. The most common mistake 
you probably work out what it is already, is people say 90 degrees because 360 divided by 4 is 90 degrees. But this is going to be a three dimensional shape. I'll show you the model of it now. So that's it there. So you can see now we only have two. Two of the bonds are in the same plane, those two there. Um, the other two bonds are one sticking over to the right hand side and the other one sticking over to the left. So we're going to have to try and draw this. But there's a nice easy way to do that which I'll show you in a second. The name of this shape is tetrahedral. So tetrahedral. So it's a tetrahedral shape. Okay. So if I try and position that on the screen there so you can see everything. Let's see if I can do that. There, well that's probably the best I can get. So we'll start with the A in the middle. So this bond here, we're going to say is in the same plane as the board, okay, so I'm going to put that there like that, okay. It's very difficult if I take them off. And you can see what I've done there, okay. So this bond here is this bond here. So it's in the plane of the board, therefore we draw it as a solid line. And we've got this bond here, still in the plane of the board, so there's another solid line. Now if we attach this bond, that's actually sticking out of the board and we show that as a solid wedge. Okay, So that bond there is sticking out of the plane. Now unfortunately because this board's solid I can't do the last one, so I've just got to hold it, okay? But you can see that this one, if it could, would be going into the, the, the board. So we show that as a dashed line. So you can see there we've got our, let's see if I can zoom in on that. And what we're saying is the bond angle is not 90 degrees anymore. It's actually, it's not, because it's not planar, it's 109.5 degrees. Now I've already got this dot and cross diagram drawn because this was my opening slide, opening bit of drawing for you. So we've got the methane molecule which has the AB4, CH4 formula. So there's the four pairs of electrons in the valence shell. So we need to adopt the rules for four pairs of electrons as I've just shown you. So we're going to get a tetrahedral molecule. So we put the carbon in the middle. We do the bond straight up in the plane and then the other bond in the plane first, that's the way I always do them. Then I'll do the wedge sticking out and then I'll do the one going back like that. So there's your tetrahedral molecule, methane molecule and the bond angle, all these bond angles are the same, 109.5 degrees.